do you start with drums or the melody first? That's always a question, and I get why that's a question. When you're new to this, you you wonder what what's the best option. The answer, the short answer to that is, you should start with whatever comes to mind, whatever inspires you the most. You start with that first. That's how it's done. That's how I do it. So, if it's the drums, start with the drums. If it's the chord progression, start with that. If it's the melody start with that i think a lot of times people make it complicated this is definitely a process that you should never overthink it's just it's it's art music is art you should never overthink that process but you're new i get it I, and and it comes from a lot of people so it's like it's, this has got to be something that a lot of people are thinking about but it's just as simple as that sorry to say it's just as simple as that now me my, my process usually okay so if i go back to who I am. A lot of people know I'm a drummer, right? And when you know that, you would think a drummer usually come up with drum beats first. It, you, you got to because you're a drummer. You're like the heartbeat of the song. So you always got beats. But I'm, I'm going to tell you something. It's usually the opposite for me. When I create a beat, I'm usually creating the chord progression first. And then the drums will come later on. The bass may come before the drums or after it just depends on how i feel it's all about feeling right that's crazy right a drummer won't come up with drum beats first sometimes i do create the drums first and create the music around that but a lot of times for me it's always been about feeling i need to feel the song so when there's a chord progression it's a groove going then I, as a drummer i come in and feel that groove and i'll articulate what I need to, you know, how I need to play in order to make that song feel good. That's usually how it works for me as a drummer. Now, I'll speak personally. I don't know about everybody else, but I I need something to play to. So, like, if you put me in a room with a drum set, of course I can start playing the drums, but you better believe there's a song or some type of groove going on in my head that I'm playing to. So it's not just me playing the drums or whatever and you know you can you know i could definitely do that but you know when i once i put a groove together there's something going on up there absolutely so it's like the same process when i'm creating something a beat you know when i'm putting something together there's always something going on up there and so oftentimes what i try to do is articulate what i hear in my head and sometimes and if that doesn't happen because this that's it's probably another topic i'm about to hit even if you don't have nothing going on in your head at that time and this is where beat block comes from a lot of times sometimes it's just a matter of just playing around with sounds and we have a lot of tools nowadays that we can play with to help you know inspire us you know we can play with samples we can play with um rhythms and things that your doll comes with you know little effects you know on, on things and sometimes a, a regular piano sound it's okay, but it creates a different vibe once you put another effect on there. Then it's like, whoa, you know, you come up with something you never thought you could come up with. And that just creates a vibe. That's really the gist of it. Don't overthink it. You you should start with whatever comes to you first. If, if it's the melody, the chord progression, the sample, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Just create whatever inspires you the most. Start with that first. And that and that's really all I have. that's all I have for you. It, it, you didn't think the answer would be that simple. You guys should join me on the streams. I do creative sessions where we just create create beats from start. And and I oftentimes stop to answer questions and we go back and we do things, try diff, different things. It's just a community of cool things that's always happening on the on the channel. So you guys make sure you subscribe and like this video. My name is Ella, Creative Sound, Creative University. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules.